www.thebeststrategy.com. Hi, this is Chris again looking at the upcoming Friday, September 26th trading session. In front of you, I have the economic calendar as usual. Nothing, absolutely nothing, do I see in either Asia or Europe that's going to move the market. That being the case, though, GDP comes out quarter over quarter out of the United States, anticipated to be 4.6%, and that should have an effect on the stock markets overall in New York. Beyond that, we only have... Uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment, 84.7, which does the same thing. It moves the stock market. So this is going to be a very U.S.-centric uh, trading session. GDP could have an effect on the U.S. dollar, which, of course, has a big effect on the uh, euro itself. So uh, with that, we'll take a look at some charts. Okay, you can see how the S&P 500 is acting at the moment. I'm recording this uh, in Thursday afternoon trading. We are starting to um, sell off a little bit, but it does look like we found a little bit of support here at 1970. This cluster here should cause quite a bit of support down 1950, so I'm not necessarily looking to buy puts. What I am looking for is a reason to buy calls, and that GDP number might very well send us back up to the 2000 level as we just simply kind of bang around in this general vicinity. Over in the euro dollar, you can see things have gotten kind of ugly. We tested the 127 level, and now it looks like it's time to buy puts every time we bounce. I don't see anything on this chart whatsoever that does not suggest that we can't get down to 125, and that's what I'm aiming for. Truthfully, I think we can go to 120 given enough time. That is a very long-term call, though, obviously. Uh, that being the case, I'm going to look like at one hour candles. You can see that we faded out here, and uh, put buyers are making money again, and I think that's going to continue to be the theme in the euro uh, as certainly there's just nothing helping it and if we get a decent gdp number out of the united states today that will favor the u.s dollar anyway so uh, could see continuation silver markets are kind of the same deal really with the euro uh, and it makes sense because it's for the same reason as the u.s dollar strengthening so again buying puts every time it rallies eventually we'll get below 17 and a quarter i think we aim for 15 dollars and then 12 possibly even 10. Silver just looks absolutely horrible and from the longer term charts we have broken some pretty significant levels. So selling on rallies or buying puts in other words every time that we fail a little bit is reason uh, is the way that I'm going to be playing this particular market. The FTSE looks horrible again and it does look like it's coming back down to the 65.50 ish area. Short term rallies on buying puts again just as with the silver and the euro and uh, as a result I am going to continue to try to push this market down myself um, with the options but uh, really don't see a, a call buying opportunity. We'll have to see how the uh, Friday session breaks you know breaks down if we do get a nice supportive hammer or something maybe but right now it just looks like the type of market you want to go uh, short of or buy puts of. Uh, every time you get a chance and with that i've taken a look at the upcoming september 26th trading session